A lot of people are excited about 10.2. Patch 10.2 is amazing, says Nixium. Druids of the Flame, new druid forms, weapons, armor, and more. Let's check out why Nixium is excited. Flame, new animal forms, some of the best armor and weapons that Blizzard has ever made. A lot has been data mined so far from patch 10.2. And we are here today to check yeah, out just that. some of it. This is quite possibly going to be World of Warcraft's best patch from an artistic perspective. And you are about to see why. But before we oh. dive into all the amazing oh, I'm excited. stuff, however, we do, of course, have okay. to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor, real fast. If there you, you are go, somebody Zygor. in need of leveling endgame mount or pet collecting guides, gold farming for both classic as well as dragonflight, it don't matter. Zygor is World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on, and it is linked down below in the description. Check it out after this video is over because it will be perfect for getting you through patch 10.2. So nice. now, let's fall asleep, go to the Emerald Dream. That's right, fellas. To start off a video about a patch that's all about druidism, right? What better way to start than with the new druid forms coming in the next patch? Here yes, we go. Yes, they're Number nice. Number one, multiple owl forms are now available for druids, ranging from blues to browns. Yeah, plenty of There's good colors. A sort of slight emerald nightmare vibe going yeah, on. Yeah, I saw that one. I thought the same option. thing. These look awesome. You get this big, poofy looking neck. The wing tips are colored. Mm. You guys got to understand something. The owl nice is detailed. my favorite animal, okay? So I love the idea that druids can finally turn into, like, these very HD-looking owls. What can I say? The fact that the owls have antlers, too, is very cool. You truly look like some sort of old wisdom sitting in the I forest don't care. when you're shaped <laughs> like, into this I don't play thing. druid. I think so. But if you think the owl form... I don't play druid, but what I can say is, uh, yes, druids are getting a ton of love. And I like seeing cool druid forms. Cool, just wait, because we're just getting started. Number two, the Dream Talon Raptor. Yes, the it's saber tooth raptor. It's a raptor, okay? Sex it's a cult cat raptor. Animal. So if you like cats and Jurassic Park, this is your kind of form. But if you're a dog person and you're not a fan of Jeff Goldblum's hairy chest, you might not enjoy this form so much as a druid. The ears are long like night elves. They've got giant claws for hands. Some really cool design and color choices in here too. The green and the red one especially looks awesome. It's like a jungle saber raptor or something. If I was a druid leveling yeah, a, up in starting a form veil, you better believe thing. that's the form I'm choosing to level up in. Number yeah, three, the dream furry stag travel form. The stag. A symbol of leadership, ancient wisdom, and standing awkwardly in the street instead of getting out of the way of oncoming traffic. And a Patronus Lizard spot. captured this vibe perfectly. Look at this thing with its majestic body and blind Furries need love eyes. too, I guess. The antlers are a little small. Look, I'm not anti-furry by any means. I just think they're getting a bit too much love lately. Like, they got the Vulpira. That's fine. And now they got their scaly boys in the, um, in, in the Drakthir. That's fine, I guess. But now, yeah, I agree. Like, now that every form is becoming furry, I think furries are getting a bit too much love. Like, obviously, World of Warcraft has become the furry MMO. It's the, definitely the choice of all furries. And uh, that kind of makes me sad. You know, because what about, uh, what about us non-furry people? We need love, too. Why is every furry just getting catered to? Why does Blizzard love furries so much? Maybe they're furries. I don't know. Well, I, I admit... Know. But the glowing rune stone floating in between them is pretty cool. It almost looks like a hearthstone. We also get quite a few skin colorations. Suspiciously too, rich furries pay the bills. The autumn looking deer. You can have like an animal form for every season. You know those furry patch. costumes. That's awesome. Number four. With the butthole the axis, they're very expensive. Water form. So we don't really know if this is actually going to be a druid form, but it probably is. The point is, do you hate being a nasty ass looking seal or a stupid ass looking whale? Have you ever wanted to be a goldfish? Well, now's your chance, fellow druids. This, cool this thing looks like a pissed it's off genu. Those big old fish guys from Mists of Pandaria. Very beautiful, though. Let me tell you. It's the six month sub mount without a saddle. For druids. Dolphin? I wonder what this, like, stream effect is meant to be beneath it. However, you can see it in the screenshots. Maybe it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, the manatee like, form still needs fish, love. It's like still a trail of water. Very is awkward behind looking. From how fast it's swimming. I, I don't know. Number five, the dream saber cat form. Druids <laughs> love turning into cats. So whenever a new cat form gets dropped, people lose their minds. Yes. And you are about to lose yours. Yeah. This new form looks straight out of the Emerald Dream, fellas. It ain't just a cat. This it is even great. has this branch-like, finish armor it, yeah. around it. It looks no very good. No normal-looking color. Every, every, I would say every 50, 40 to 50-year-old woman 
that plays this game, has no children and tons of cats, plays druid and sits in cat form all day. That is a fact. That is a fact. I will, I will, you know, people say you can't put people in a bucket. No, I'll definitely put them in that bucket because it's true. Colors here, though, I'm afraid. If you're looking for a normal ass looking cat, you ain't gonna find it. You're gonna get rich blues, purples, this orange colored cat. Yeah, you get really they're all just sitting in cat too, form all day. See. That's always nice. Number six, the that or their hunter. owl yeah. bear form. With Did a cat you guys a just watch the new Dungeons and Dragons movie, perhaps? Maybe you've been playing some Baldur's Gate 3. I know you guys are in the comments section. Well, clearly our friends <laughs> at Blizzard have been playing a lot of D&D &D <laughs> recently and have been influenced because it's an owl Del, bear. Well, I'm everybody. not targeting it, it anyone specifically. I'm just, it, it it, it's a know, damn owl bear sometimes. from D&D &D, and it looks absolutely beautiful. You got this big ass crest like ears or whatever the heck those things are large glowing eyes claws this i'll be honest the, it's a little cute but that's the, okay. the, yeah everything in wow's a little cute lately it's a problem but um the, the the owl bear form was my least favorite of all the forms it's just too deformed it's just too weird i can't i can't handle it okay isn't that what an owl bear but the good to thing be is cute? there's another badass taking deadly form. <laughs> it's cool too because wait till you see the moonkin forms coming up for druids i mean that's you're gonna see it's gonna blow your mind number seven the rune bear bear yeah. form you guys remember the so ability? i would never be in the owl form but the new rune bear forms are fucking unbelievable unbelievable like this this is daddy right here this is a daddy tank all right you look at the cracks man there's little plants growing out of the cracks the hair the glowing eyes the the Look at that Giga Chad chin. Oh Number my God. seven. So good, the man. The Rune Bear. So bear good. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my God. Form. You guys remember the ability Bark Skin as a Druid? Well, what if we added Bark to a giant bear? Yeah, dru monster? Druids are feasting. That was Blizzard's logic with this form. It's a bear with these big ass forearms, this flowing mane covered yeah. in bark and vines, flowers. Whenever I used bark skin this on my druid, this is back the most the manly looking flowery up, I always creature ever. This kind of look for my character whenever he used the ability. So it's cool to see it come to life. Now, Man, these colors. For me personally, so I don't nice. know what I think about the glowing mane. All right, it looks cool, especially the I red like version it. of this form. But I kind of wish there was a version where the mane looked a little normal. But then again, it is a giant rock monster. So how normal can it look? <laughs> what's you know what what's I mean? normal? Number eight, the Bristle Bruin bear form. It's this, a bear form yeah, covered with, in flowers yeah. and acorns. Yeah. You even got this yeah. Arctic if, if you're If you're, you know, a classic Andy, but you like to play retail, this is your best form you're going to take because it's it's still the bear. You know, it still gives you the bear vibes, but it's just a very leafy version. It's got a leaf on it. Kind of like a frosty blue as well as these shades of brown. When it comes to this form, I really love the red eyes that these things got going on here. These guys look awesome. I, I like oh, the I didn't notice the eyes. It's nice, okay? But it the definitely acorns, ain't no yeah. poo bear, all right? I have never been a big fan of, like, you know, that default classic wow bear look and how they've done the bear over the years, but these new bear forms are looking great. Number nine, new uh, here moonkin models. Yeah, customize your moonkin. The, uh, so every druid here, as soon as they put out that damn glyph where you didn't have How to do you get these forms? I'm assuming there's going to be quest glyph, lines and you know, stuff. Like a whole like star, like ethereal body thing. Well, now check out these new moonkin models. They have been data Probably mined a lot and of they are ways incredible. To get there's three of them. And my immediate first impressions of them when you're looking at them right now I love how they all look different. To yeah, one these another. look great. You've got this the green horns. one with this beautiful floating moon between its antlers. You got the green leaves glowing. I like the runes necklaces, on the yeah. Wings. I love this one. The blue has these large, the giant little, antlers. wide antlers with little snow particles falling around it with frosty runes on the wings. Very cool. Dude, winter's coming up, man. It's a perfect moonkin form for it. Then there's this more base looking moonkin. All right. You got these huge Yeah, the daddy moonkin, the regular boy moonkin. Rune necklace, sporting runes that match the moonkin's eyes. It's got like a yellow vibe going on here. It's really neat. These three moonkin forms look incredible. Okay. They do. In my opinion. All right. What do you guys think? You can leave a comment down below saying that I'm insane, but I think they look great. But here's the thing, dear viewer. There's actually another Moonkin model to talk about coming in patch 10.2. And oh, that what? leads me to talking about one thing that everybody is super excited about the next section of this video. 
the Druids. The Druids of the Flame, of the flame. I know he's doing this. We got teased oh, with this shit. sort of stuff with the last patch, and that's right, everybody. Yeah. Druids of the Flame, they're finally coming to World I mean, of if Druids are ever going to get love in this game, it's going to be during an Emerald Dream patch. We're literally, like, it's it's literally Druid heaven, right? Like, of course they're going to get new forms and shit. Crap. What I thought actually that was going to happen was other races were going to be able to become Druids. Because I thought by us going to the Emerald Dream, maybe some other races were going to learn how to become Druids. And we were going to unlock some new druid forms for new, like, new races, like worgen druids and all kinds of other shit. Some people are saying we might still get that in a 0.5 or 0.7 patch. But, uh, I mean, these new druid forms, they, they, they do hit the spot, I'm sure, for some druids. Which, according to assistant director Morgan Day and senior game designer Patrick these. Scarborough, the following customizations, they're going to be available from the new raid Can RP is a druid of the flame. in 10.2. If you want to check out the new raid, you know, you go check out that section of the video. Again, it's all linked down below in the description. That gear looks great. But let's take a look at what we've gotten to see so far of the Druids of the Flame. Check this out. Number one, we have the Night Elf Fire Skin. We Damn. actually talked about this skin in previous videos when we were talking about patch 10.1.7. These are the guys who tried to burn down the world tree alongside Ragnarok. Spandrel right. Staghelm was their leader. He didn't like Taronda Whisperwind going all the way back to classic. We're going to fight him. The whole lore story behind it. You guys probably remember it. This skin is apparently going to become available, though, which is awesome. For oh, any shit. Of you guys Wait, they're going to get red. We're going to get red Night Elf skins? I didn't know that. We just got the Dry Knight. Now we're going to get Night Elf? Blizzard been feeling red lately. Play as an evil Night Elf Druid. I can hear the role players rejoicing. But check this out. Number two, fiery Holy moonkins. Holy shit. Did you like the three moonkin models from earlier? Check this out. This yeah, is this the one's fire nice. moonkin, dude. You're it's covered badass. in like a oh, ton wow. of fire antlers, flaming wings. Look at the beard. Oh my God. He's got a moonkin beard. He's got a feather beard. Holy crap. I'll be honest. I've never been a moonkin fan. I've always thought they kind of look pudgy and, and a little bit weird, like they're heading to a furry convention. But this boy right here, no, this boy don't. If he goes to the convention, he ain't getting fucked. He fucking. This boy's showing up and he's fucking. Oh my god, look at that beard. Damn. And what looks this, like is these, a, this is the most badass know, looking moonkin in the game. Neck, look at the antlers. Of flame all over them. This form oh, looks crap. badass. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Uh, but you know. It's a pyro furry. <laughs> this form. Come here, viewer. Closer. Yeah. yeah. Closer. Too close. Okay, right there. This form looks absolutely badass. Yes. But wait till you see what's next. Number There's three, no way. the fire cat. There's no way the it gets better. The fire cat model has actually been in World of Warcraft since Cataclysm. But with this patch, the model is getting, getting a an HD. massive upgrade from this, right, to this. Look at oh, this yeah. thing, dude. This yeah. new That's HD badass. cat nice still upgrade. has that big fiery mane. It's got the branded tattoos on its arms. I really like the outline that it's got going on around the feet too. It's I like how like the the, uh, the mane's kind of transparent, so like hot. like fire got should this be. Glowing hot outline to them. I think they look great. We're talking a lot about druids in this. I'm section sure some of, of them will drop in What do you guys think? I told you at the beginning of this video, if you didn't want to play a druid with you know 10.2, if you've never had an interest in druids, you probably want to play as one now, right? Maybe. This stuff's great. Number four, never made the an fire alt. bear. All right, so we haven't gotten to see the fire bear form yet. We're still on the lookout for it, so. Oh, we'll no see. fire bear, yeah. Okay, okay, so I think that we've given druids enough love. Wouldn't you but say? But we did see now, the. Uh, let's talk about weapons. We did see the fire boy of the other version. What the hell is it? The big, the big, you know, the big boys. We saw a fire version of that, so. And gear, you can go with that stuff one. You're going to be able to get in the RP. next patch. Believe me, there is a lot going on with this section from legendary weapons to being able to even dress I, as I need the legend. I need the Farak weapon. Dude. <laughs> Here we go. Weapons yeah, okay. and armor, let's yeah. dive in. To start things off, we're talking about the legendary Firaloth Axe. The weapon is specifically for paladins, death knights, and warriors. It's a two-handed axe. So, druids, I'm sorry, but you guys aren't the only ones getting love in this patch, okay? You can't hog all the cool stuff. This axe, just looking at it, it reminds yeah. me so much of Shadow Morn. 100%. I thought of Shadow Morn right when I saw it. Am I the only one that thinks that? No, it almost not. looks like a recolor of Shadow Morn, but damn, it still looks great. Yeah. It's a fire version of it. Now, we don't know at this time exactly really, how there's to a glitch? get this weapon yet, but it will definitely involve going into it's, the uh, we do What we do know about the weapon, he said we don't know how to get it yet, but what we do know is Blizzard said it, it's not going to be a drop off of Farak. Like, it's not going to be this... Oh, RNG based thing. There's some type of quest line you're gonna have to do. It, the quest line will probably involve killing Farak, 
but it'll be some type of like quest line long chain thing that you got to do to get the weapon raid to stop for rock and this fiery madness he's got going on since <laughs> yeah, i would have lost all the rules but i don't we'll think it's going it to be that it kind really of weapon seems like all the major rewards for this patch are fire related you know fire forms for the druids a fire legendary it's great What's that's not the aotc up, mount fire right there that he was just rejoice. showing <laughs> okay it's like your aesthetic <laughs> i don't know i'm very curious to see what this axe can do what's going to be you know that special thing that makes it unique as a weapon i love legendaries and their effects so i'm really yeah. excited to unleash the, the flame to continue for this that's thing. what i'm hoping outdoor for some kind weapons. of damage done so these are the shit. weapons that you can get while questing around out in the open world open dream i guess feel free to pause the video at any point during this section of the video because there's a lot that's going to be shown off here here we go first yeah. we have these one-handed axes they're beautiful they're clearly made of cool. wood with these magical accents in the center some leaves even growing on these things the bows dude look yeah these are great these i mean if bows, i was a night man, elf they look incredible i'd this be going is something for one of these. that a druid would 100 use if a druid could shoot arrows what's up Inari? i especially love the fire version it reminds me so yes, much yes you of get the them out for nightmare. the aotc i achievement. love the bows yes. man war glaives do not worry demon hunters you guys are not forgotten but the problem is these things look look i'll be honest if i was a war glaive if i was a demon hunter I, I can't equip these i can't man it's just too weird if you're a demon hunter this is like so anti-demon hunter aesthetic why would you do this to yourself okay they're kind of hit or miss perhaps what do you guys think you know let you us know you need something down in the that's like section. flaming well, and demonic kind of look like a piece of wall decor that you'd put in a hallway or above a door well that's just my opinion Viney or daggers Viney, both now, these things are kind of hit or miss as well i do like how simple they look you know like sure. little wooden weapons looks like something you'd see from magic. like the movie the avatar leaves are a nice touch especially but i don't know hit or miss i suppose one-handed maces now these things Damn. You got this carved yeah, this stone is fucking look with badass. wood growing around it with yeah, a this magical one's cool. enchantment in the center to really make it special. Wow, beautiful. You've also got this other one-handed mace model that kind of looks like a small staff. Blizzard went all out with these things. They have this yeah, crown of like leaves it. at the top. The glowing like magic it. coming off the wood looks gorgeous. I especially love the winter-themed one. You could really be like a winter druid in this expansion. How True. cool is that? Now, the offhands look like pine cones. An acorn? Or at least that's what oh, they're pine modeled yes, after. Yeah, pine cone. Almost looks like a mace, though. Does it's kind of cool. Whole arms definitely get some love in this patch. Let me see my these daggers. These weapons look like something out of just... Warlords of Draenor. I mean, look at these things. Yeah, Again, this is pretty you got badass. The stone look going on. This is, the yeah. Wood if I'm an orc, this is probably the the, the most planty thing I will ever hold. It also kind of reminds me of um, uh, Thor's weapon, the new one. Oh my God, what was it called? You know, the one where Groot has his hand as the as the uh, as the handle. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Some slight leaves to really sell the Emerald Dream vibe. I really like how primitive these things look. Now, new shields are always fun to see, and this patch gives us some new models. A lot more refined uh, looking stone can't use shields, with this one in particular. Bigger roots growing out of the stone, magical Yeah, a big core. rock. That's what I, I would admit, expect. This isn't really my favorite looking shield, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Now, stabs, staves, whatever. I gotta be honest. I think Stormbreaker. Cool, but the one-handed maces that looked like a mini staff, those kind of looked better. I mean, if I put these two things side by side, what do you think would look cooler as a staff? Am I the only one that, that thinks one. the damn mace looks better as a yeah, staff? I do like the flower growing in the center of these staffs, though. Just, That's pretty you know, cool. Letting out that glow. That's really cool. One-handed swords looking like they were forged in Rivendell from Lord of the Rings. So look at that yeah, design. Yeah, true. Very going elvish. On the blade itself. I, love I mean, it. if, you're an, if you're an elf, if you're a night elf, this is your time to RP your dick off. No doubt. I mean, all these weapons and shit, you should get them all. Because your transmog is going to be forever, you know, locked in as being a, a elf of the trees hilt the pommel they're awesome this to is look your at patch as well. everything, get everything. Patch looks so gorgeous dude the two-handed swords however unfortunately don't get it's that very fancy chody. blade design look instead it's really just a large rock lots it's of very roots coiled around yeah. it a really kind of intense magical glow just above the handle not my favorite look for a sword but you know yeah. I, I think the one that, that's something i'll probably transmog but now look at these wands look at the damn yeah. wands they got butterflies do people, on do people still use wands in the game because like blizzard put in a lot of work here there's a there's literally a butterfly on this thing and it's probably animated if i have to guess do people still use wands on them it's a butterfly is this dude. A thing? none of the other weapons have a damn butterfly on it this one's unique talk about a brave ass butterfly too i know you can fly equip away them, when you're people in the use battle but all right 
Let's move on to the next section, raid weapons. Okay, so you conquered right. the Emerald Dream. Right, yes. But what about that new raid? That's where We're gonna the do real it. magic is. And I know what you're thinking. It's just going to be more leaves and flowers and hippie garbage, which I love, by the way. But surprisingly, no. You would be surprised, and you're about to see what I mean. Good. First up, we have these one-handed axes with this very beautiful metallic look to Damn. them. The hint this of looks magic like something you get out of Ice edge. Crown. The fire one is really cool. It's my favorite one. It reminds me of Barian's sword from Legion. Next up is the bow, which I admit, these bows are not as pretty yeah, as the outdoors okay. version. The but outdoor still, ones are better. They pretty awesome. They're really selling the magic of the dream with this do thing. People still Guns. Use Who doesn't love the idea? This of is cool. shooting your yeah. worst nightmare. Well, in patch 10.2, you get these this very looks good. sleek looking metal yeah, looks guns. Good. Kind of borderline futuristic looking, I think, but maybe that's just me. Glaives. Okay, demon hunters. The outdoor glaives might have looked like a piece of decoration. You yeah, put I didn't like them that door much. in your outdoor cabin, but these glaives oh. are completely different. These things. Oh, look wait a minute. The shadow flame. Holy shit. Oh my god, the shadow flame blade. Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you get if you get the right transmog with this, this is perfect. Uh, I love the sha I love the purple red shadow flame look. Are completely different. This These is great. things look incredible, especially the blue version. Oh my Yeah, the blue's goodness. not bad, but I like the it shadow flame one the most. It reminds me of the Nexus from Northrend. At least I think so. Fist weapons, dude. Now these things Get are terrifying. Get fisted. They're like wooden bear claws on steroids. Oh wow! Massive the red flaming. shadow flame. A bit of that Not a uh, shadow flame, but like flame again, druid too. of the flame. They're nice daggers. So I admit these daggers look a little meh. Very simple looking. Not as creative yeah. as the outdoor ones, but okay. they're okay, I guess. There's also this second kind of dagger that you can get with this That's kind of weird dagger hook look. And that's okay, I guess. It's like an axe yeah, I or like something. It. Now, one-handed maces, they're looking like a torch of some sort. You got these three big blades with a burning <clears throat> orb in the center. Okay. Now, I, I certainly wouldn't want to get hit with one of these Probably things. Probably a one-handed mace. Cool, but what do you guys think? Now let's talk about the two-handed maces. I definitely don't want to get yeah, hit it was with a one, one of these, okay? These okay. things look insane. They yeah, this looks They genuinely look intimidating. Anybody who uses these is this going nice. to look like a badass in this pack. I feel like the red ones definitely, like, if you're a paladin, you got to go for the red. You know, get to get that judgment look like going. Badass if I can get patch. back here. And for the offhands, though, we get a little bit, you know, more calm. We get kind of like an incense Seen holder these weapons looking since thing. Classic. Simple handheld metal container, you know, magical this is pretty incense cool. drifting out. I like that. Whole arms. My friends, you're getting sights. If you're somebody wanting oh. to do some sort of necromancer kind of look, here it is. The blue yeah. version in particular looks like something a frost mage would be using. Yeah, frost mage. What are you talking about? This looks like something an unholy death knight would use. That, that looks no, great. I have to say it. Shame they can't use pole arms, but oh well. Now the shields, they're okay. They're kind of simple. Yeah. Love the design, but again, kind of a Not step bad. down compared to the outdoor world shield. At least I think so. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, all this is just this my opinion. This looks like a disappointment. Well, if you're not in the into plant section. look, I mean, yeah. The flame version looks the best, though. Just saying. There's an alternative shield model, though, that has this sort of magical barrier look. Oh, wow. Now, these That's look kinda cool. cool. I want to see one of these things animated and yeah. in motion because so far, these things look badass. Next, we have three different staff models. First of all, we have this kind of trident appearing staff with oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's got a trident not really to it. Sure what I personally think Man, Druids of the things. Flame. There's so many good animated. red weapons. The second weapons. version is more simple. Only sporting like this two spikes at the top with a glowing core. And it looks very nice. I like the, the trident one, one more. Okay, someone had to either have messed up in the design or in labeling these things. This is the third staff version. What? That ain't no staff. Okay, Holy that's shit. That's a battle axe. <laughs> that is a two-handed battle axe. Yeah, if I'm a mage and this actually gets put in the game as a staff, I'm going to equip this because this is badass. Holy crap. That ain't a battle axe. That's a very unique looking staff. Imagine Gandalf with one of these. That. Now, swords, man, dude, if you're a sword user, they're beautiful in this raid. The one-handed version looks absolutely chad with the magical core lighting cool. up the blade. You even have this large hook Kind of. Version. Wait a minute. What was that? Did I see eyes? On this sword, a sword on. user, they're beautiful in this raid. The one-handed version looks absolutely Oh no, it's just two dots. The magical I was just tripping. I thought I saw eyes here. I was like, "What is this fucking or sword?" Up the blade. Even haunting have this us or large something. Hook version of the one-handed sword too, which looks just as awesome, maybe even more so. And the you like it? Yeah, put shadow version, flame on it. I like dude, it. Sure. These things look like they could light up a kid's birthday party. Yeah, that's cool. Look how Intense colorful glow. these things are. Goodness gracious, Blizzard! They went all out with this patch. 
we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet either. If you think all this like outdoor stuff, you know, weapons and whatnot is cool, you just freaking wait. We're just getting started. All right, so we just kind of burned through that real fast. That was a lot of weapons, guys. Let's talk a lot about of some armor. My favorite thing. The Demon the game, Hunter right? set, man, is so janked. I don't know what it is about it. It's too too tall. The head's too a lot tall. Of weapons, guys. Let's talk. They got to shorten the neck on this thing. I don't know. It, like I love the concept they tried to go with, but they got to shorten armor, the neck. My favorite thing in the game, right? I'm just gonna say something right now. I am absolutely absolutely blown away by what you're about to see i don't think i love that the death Blizzard has done this well with armor in a long time and you are about to see what i mean outdoor sets yeah so to start outdoor sets coming right off from the weapons let's begin with the outdoor sets. these are the this sets you know they've been doing this the entire expansion where you get like there's an outdoor set that you collect and tons of different color variations that you'll variably get throughout the uh the patch and obviously the outdoor set for this one very planty. This is not the tier gear for the record, not the stuff. Again, yeah, this the is raid. your time this to shine. Night elves and druids and everybody else who's a tree hugger itself. out there. So, like with the weapons, feel free to pause the video at any point as we go over each category because I'm going to kind of go through them kind of quick. So, to start things off, we have the cloth outdoor armor set. Look at yeah, it's great. this set. Look at all the it, detail. This looks Ooh, like a red raid one. Set Holy or crap. a PVP set, but it's not. The green, the leaves, yeah, the flowers. Yeah, it looks this so good. This set also has different seasons. This uh, is Oh wow. I like the blue one a lot too. Very wintry. It's incredible work. We're almost to Halloween yeah. too. One of my favorite that, holidays. Mind you like so that auto th This looks like it could be a raid set, right? Like this looks like it could be something that dropped. This is just an outdoor set. This is just something you get for doing outdoor activities. Incredible work. We're almost to Halloween, too. One of my favorite holidays. So that autumn set? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The outdoor sets are better than the, the Druid tier set. set like with the cloth, this is gorgeous. It almost looks like something you would see in old the, shaman this really looks like chest the forest hair. wearing. Or like the kind of gear that some primordial forest did. It reminds me of Malfurion. Oh, my God. If you're a shadow. Oh, my God. Look at this. If you really want to go Druid of the Flame, this is the set to wear. He might be wearing... There's also this little homage to Malfurion, too. I yeah, it reminds wrist. me of Malfurion. Like wings, like, that's so A cool. winter owl. This Holy is crap, the male cool. gear. You see what I'm talking about? These sets look incredible. Yeah. And they just keep getting better. Look at the bear claws on the shoulders, the skull-like antlered helmet. I'm blown Looks away. Good. I especially love the This is pretty cool if you're like a night elf hunter who wants to like RP that you've been living in the forest. You're like, you know, you can dip your finger on the soil and lick it and then know exactly who's been there like the last 30 days like that's the kind of things that i imagine if you're wearing this set as a hunter a night elf hunter specifically that's the kind of rp i imagine even skull on the belt it's all like it just looks so good also yeah, look at good. how wicked the fire and purple version of this thing is uh, that's creepy. pretty cool and then we have the plate gear which i admit this is the weakest of the sets yeah, it it's still hard looks to do good, plant but i think the reason why it's kind of weak is because the set is so top heavy and the boots are kind of small what do you guys think you got this stone bear look going on with the set okay. though even the belt kind of looks like a bear claw i'm imagining yeah. this set with one of those stone kind of reminds me of like a hearthstone on the shoulder look it's not bad actually i don't think it's too bad i think it's kind of being harsh about on earlier it. those two-handed swords you're gonna look like a badass that's actually a really cool looking cape holy crap look at that thing it looks like it's just made of rocks and vines probably one of the best capes in the game uh no shot Somebody blew up on the raid, at least. Raids and PvP sets. Okay, let's this see the raid sets. This is something that I'm sure that we you've all been good. waiting for after seeing the outdoor Death sets. Death great. Yeah, they look awesome, but surely the tier gear is going to look even better. And I admit, in some Rogue cases... Rogue might be the best, though. Yes. In other cases, maybe not so much. You'll see what let's I'm talking about. Let's see if we about. agree on I these sets. I will say, though, the last few, they're going to blow your mind. Let's just dive in and get started. And yes, I did change my shirt to the green version. Yeah. <laughs> So let's begin with what I think is the weakest set, but still a very good one. And that Hold is... Hold on, weakest set. Weakest set. What was the weakest set of them all? Maybe Druid? Druid wasn't good. Warrior was pretty shit, too. Warrior actually was the weakest to me. The Warrior. This yeah. set, I think, looks really cool, yeah. but I just can't help but think that you kind of look like, like a Gundam. It just looks like a regular Maybe set. Maybe that's just me, though. I like the tubes and the shoulder pads, how the top has... Like, the Warrior set just looks like a gray, like, regular average set to me. I don't know. Maybe it needed more this animation sort of or something. glow to it with the sparks. You kind of look like a tank in this set. And I like that. Like an actual battle tank. And that's cool. 
Next, I'm gonna just say I'm not a big Evoker player. I don't really enjoy the Evoker aesthetics, but this set, it does look kind of neat. It's rather tame sure. though, don't you think? It's not very- The one thing about the Evoker set that threw me off is it looks like a bronze Dragonflight set. Like it's got the sand and the shoulders and everything. And I don't understand why they went with this look for the patch that has to do with the green Dragonflight. I was expecting like a green Dragonflight Evoker aesthetic, like a planty Evoker aesthetic. But they went with you're in your face. But then again, you know, it doesn't make spend sense. Most of their time in their dragon form. So, yeah. What this do you is, all this think is of bronze dragon the normal mode version with the gold and the reds. Now, it's just one color. I know. But the sand, the hourglass sand style shoulders. I don't understand why they went with that instead of some kind of planty looking shoulders. Really good. That one's the best. At least I think so. Rogues, though. Rogues, you guys are Rogues always are getting interesting looking tier gear. I think and Rogue this is great. Is no different in 10.2. You guys are gonna look like immortals straight from the movie. I actually think they look like Doctor Doom. Skeletal like masks, lots of spikes too. Orcs, you're gonna this love Doctor this Doom, set. Man. And the potion vials on the belt. Oh, now that, that's where it's at. Green version is yeah, definitely- Yeah, it's so good. The rogue set is actually like, it was, it's probably my favorite. The rogue set looks so damn good with the vials. And I think it's a Doctor Doom set. He, he went with immortal, I think. <laughs> It does, it does deserve a celebration. That's a really right, good looking set. Right. Next up, we have the Hunter set. If you're somebody like me who went to the Dragon Isles, yeah, just they're very to similar, Ducati, to the Mega skulls, Dungeon shoulders. The, the whole inspiration, the, um, you know, behind this this shirt. The Morchi shoulders. If that was you, right. this is your set. You look yeah. like a dang dragon hunter in this yeah. outfit. Just look at the set. shoulder pads, actual dragon heads breathing out magic. I love it. Now, the, the, oh, I wish the chest was a little less flat. The chest is kind of flat. I wish it had a little bit more armor to it or like 3D something 3D to it. Uh, but definitely, if I'm a hunter, only weak part of this set these shoulders are something that I'm transmogging onto something else. It's literally two dragon heads, leather strapped to some shoulder pads. I mean, that's as huntery as it gets. looking at right now, at least I think and so. And the helm looks like a fucking gray item. I'm not going to lie. I probably wouldn't use the helm or the chest, but the shoulders are amazing. Is the helmet. But other than that, this outfit looks great. Yeah, it's Paladins, one of the better man. hunter this sets set we've seen in the game in a while. I feel like hunters always kind of get screwed, but this looks good. That really looks good. Man, this set for Paladins, it might be kind of hit or miss for some yeah. people. But I think I that think the, 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 the blades on the shoulders are too long. I think that's what's throwing me off about the Paladin set here. Man, this set for Paladins, they, or they should have been placed higher up on the shoulders. People, I don't know. But I think we can all agree that the glowing swords on those shoulder pads look really cool, especially with how long they are. And the cape, too. He likes this the length of like the looks like something though. a royal guard of a fantasy kingdom would wear. I do admit, it does seem kind of warrior ish, maybe. And the crown on the head is an interesting design choice, but it still looks pretty cool. I think Paladins are going to be happy with it. Shamans. I, I just want to say something. Yeah, the I shaman love shoulders. Shamans. Since playing Warcraft 3, dude, I love the vibe of these. The shaman shoulders are great. Worshipping guys, the ghost wolves, and this. You guys set, are gonna see this freaking set captures yeah. that all perfectly. Those you wolves, these wolves on the shoulders are animated and they howl. They're really badass. I literally have ghost wolves for shoulder pads yeah. as a shaman in patch 10.2, and I couldn't be happier with that. This set looks so neat that Very I cool. am I'm, I'm almost tempted to reroll shaman in Dragonflight, but we haven't even seen anything yet. It's only going to get better from here. These are the weakest sets. Let's keep going. Let's just move on to the best spell casting class in the game, the mage. Mages yeah. have this total traditional fantasy Look, when I, when I first saw the mage set, you guys know my reaction to it. I was like, damn, this sucks. This looks like a gray item set because the hat was throwing me off. But since looking at it and looking at it closer, I have noticed there are a lot of details in the belt, specifically with the ropes and everything, the shoulders, uh, even the hat has a little like ring that's kind of floating around here, a little metal ring. So I've taken back what I said. This is actually a pretty cool mage set. It's pretty magey, pretty fantasy mage feeling. Going on with this patch, yeah. floating discs on the shoulder pads, yeah. this big giant I wizard I took back pad. what I Unfortunately, said. Unfortunately, some people, because they just kind of got to find an issue and everything, they're crapping yeah. on Blizzard for this outfit because the PvP... People, people said the PvP, they said it looks like the KKK. Come on. Come on, because it's a fucking pointy white hat. I mean, does the KKK claim the rights to all pointy white hats everywhere? I, 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 and don't they wear masks? I mean, doesn't the KKK cover their face too? I, this is clearly a wizard. It's a Gandalf the White. What was Gandalf the White, a fucking a KKK member now? This is a wizard hat, man. 
said you're a wizard a harry not a racist right and he got like the big giant wizard hat, mage. which has a point oh, so they're crying out racism on blizzard's oh, part God. personally i think that's a load of nonsense i, I see gandalf that. when i look at this me outfit, too that's what i, I think see. it looks cool it's a wizard hat <laughs> I don't know if Blizzard will keep it, honestly. They'll probably cave and just fucking change it. But it's kind of sad because I think a white mage set is, like, one of the coolest things you could ask for. Gandalf the White RP. I mean, that's that's badass. Part. Personally, I think that's a load of nonsense. I see Gandalf when I look at this outfit. I think it looks cool. It's a wizard hat. <laughs> what can I say? You look like a wizard. Demon Hunters now. Let me just say this. This is the most unique set. Who is in calling World it a Warcraft KKK? Probably some, uh, you know, just like one or like a handful of people on Twitter. Uh, but their voices are so loud, man. They're so loud and so ridiculous. It, it just kills a lot of things. And honestly, there's nothing fucking racist about it. It just is what it is. That Blizzard has ever the, made. The minority, the, you loud, the vocal minority. Uh, yeah, with this set, you lose your head. It's being replaced with a giant floating demonic skull. How? Very cool concept, but I feel like they missed on it. I feel like they made the head too long. The neck is too long on it. It should have been like, it would have been so much cooler if the if this skull was a little bit lower. How freaking cool is that? Imagine this headpiece transmogged with like just a gives me a long outfit. neck vibe. I can only imagine what people are going to do with transmogging yeah, this like weird. headpiece. But even in its base form, this set looks absolutely fantastic. And now let's talk about there's some it's head on your neck down the energy a little bit i admit personally i really don't like this set i don't druids. like it either it's okay and i do really like the crows or the ravens on the shoulders and stuff but the shoulders are not like bad a mage set something like a mage. look the, if i'm a druid i'm going with all the other sets they've added in all the the outdoor sets and everything else that's coming in and then maybe use the shoulders for something but otherwise honestly for the 10 point for the druid patch the most druidy patch to ever come out and will ever come out. This set was kind of a mess. And I do really like the crows or the ravens on the shoulders and stuff, but it kind of looks like a mage Does it? I mean, from like what I've seen, it's static. Out of a remastered the flame Arizona moves, but rate. the skull is Am static. Am I the only one who thinks that? I do like the glows on the feathers, though. That's cool. But those outdoor sets are going to look way better for druid players yeah but definitely go with the outdoor opinion. set I used if you're to a, druid. a druid years ago in world of warcraft so just my opinion what do you guys think next up we have monks this set looks i it's i good. don't know how this set looks no, it's good i don't play monks i don't really enjoy their play style kind of like evokers and i most certainly don't the, think this is their i best mean the, the chest is no like i won't use the chest but the shoulders and the helm are good this is the show the, the crane shoulders specifically are actually really good the helm is pretty cool, too. It gives me, like, a ninja, uh, you know, ninja monk vibe. But uh, I think that I think the, the set. monk set the is a good set. The grain on the shoulder pads yeah. do look kind of neat. But I don't know. Maybe, you know, you monk yeah, the white. You're, this you're right asking now, about the white mage set. Yes, it is a PvP set. Just seems kind of weak compared to what you guys have gotten from previous tier sets. They're almost this all almost all the white now, sets are PvP. this is yeah. the priest set. Giant angels yeah, on the, the shoulder pads. A big faded out hood to make you look like Tyrael from Diablo. The shoulders yeah. glow. This in general, priests have gotten some of the best sets they've ever gotten in the game in Dragonflight. I don't know why. Like, you wouldn't think Dragonflight would be very priest-focused, but the priest, whoever's doing design, armor design for priests, has been knocking it out of the park since Dragonflight started. Golden light. There's this, like, shadowy crest on the hood that glows void-like purple. Priest, yeah. This set the looks crown, awesome. The, and yeah. those shoulder pads are yeah. huge, too. These shoulders will forever be the shoulders you transmog onto everything. That, it's so good. The and the helm. gracious. Imagine a shadow priest with a set like this. They're oh, going to great. look great. And now let's talk about warlocks. Speaking of Diablo, Blizzard clearly is still in that Diablo mindset. Yeah, the At warlock least they looks were great. when they were making this set. One word spikes yeah okay two words magic spikes the Just craziest thing about the warlock is look at this look at the helm going down to here here shoulder look how many layers are involved from the helm down look at that shit oh my god i'm guessing the helm is just this and then the neck and these blades right here are part of the chest it's unbelievable this is this is close to the rogue as being one of the best sets that we've seen at this set dude especially the green oh peep. god the green one holy shit this is so demonic and badass bp set version this is incredible like with that shaman over there i i kind of want to level up yeah the green now. one was now, unbelievable I won't because i don't want mookluck to know that i think the warlock is kind of cool but still luckily though for all of us the best tier set in 10.2 is not the warlock however it's what Knight. you're about to see next 
Real fast though, guys, if you are enjoying this video, yeah, just you're gonna say, say the death knight. Please it's so take good. a second just to hit the like button. It's so it good. It does help with the algorithm nonsense. So anyway, let's go back to the sets. Check this out. Yes. It's the death knight. Wait I till he show. Oh my god, look at the. If you're a blood DK, this is so fucking. If this is the PvP one, I might just do it just to get it. But if you don't know yet, when you're a DK and you equip this helm and you talk. The jaw part of the skeleton is animated and moves. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just went from six to midnight. I was fucking there with a the sit the second he was going to bring this set up. This looks gotta fucking say, sick. Gotta say, this is the best looking set in the game. This is the best set that Blizzard has ever made. At least I think so. It's it looks so straight good. out of Diablo Four. What's crazy is when we went to the, we were going to the Emerald Dream, and the whole time I was thinking, okay, the Blood DK, whatever the DK set is, and I mean, I didn't mean to say, but what, it's going to be shitty. Because all that life aesthetic, you know, planty, that doesn't fit Death Knight vibes. But Blizzard decided to go with like a thorny, what you would imagine like a thorny rose bush would look like. Like that's what this makes me think of. And this is so fucking sick. The wrappings on the, the gloves are literally just spikes coming through a leather wrap. This is so badass. Or let me tell you what, just look at the outfit, dude. You got spikes, you got bones, oh, you got God. mummy wraps, you got Love a skull it. for a face. Yeah. What the heck was Blizzard thinking? So Since badass. when are tier sets this cool looking? I don't even know. Let's talk about Heroic. Like I said, he didn't say the coolest thing about it. The skull head is animated. You got a skull. When you talk, the jaw moves. Oh, for a face. What the heck was Blizzard fucking crazy. thinking? Since when are tier sets this cool looking? I don't even know. Let's talk yes, about I will share a link to heroic this armor. After this section sure. is called heroic armor because honestly, I didn't know what the heck else to call it. Blizzard has decided for some reason to make it oh, so he's that we talk can about the Sylvanas look and like the Varian lore sets, characters yeah. of Varian and Sylvanas in this patch. And two other very special sets as well that I'm throwing in here. Yeah, you heard me right. Varian's gear though is a little the bit Logosh different. It's set. not what you're expecting. It's more so leaning into his Logosh days from the comics and such. You'll see what I'm talking about. We'll start with him first. It's very if cool. If you're a fan of Conan the barbarian this is your set seriously yeah. the giant cool fur set. shoulder pad the lion's head belt this is a warrior's armor set 100 percent. you even get this kind of dinky if you know bajira the streamer the set reminds me of him. looking headpiece i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna you can be sylvanas yeah you're gonna thing. see the but sylvanas cool set it's sylvanas it set no cape though with this set it's a little bit odd and now check this out sylvanas armor if you've ever yeah. wanted to own sylvanas's underwear guys now you can the screenshots that you're seeing i now, don't know why this is put on a human male though <laughs> but this is the sylvanas set you know you get the midriff there look at that look at the crotch saddle i mean that's beautiful this is sylvanas you ever wanted to be sylvanas if you go with the dark ranger uh skin plus this you are sylvanas yeah i'm jerking off right now yeah we all are model, which looks a little kind of it's weird a, just but throw this the ass yeah look at this this is what i'm talking about dark ranger with the sylvanas set I mean, it, it, that's iconic. Armor on an elf, and it looks fantastic. It looks I really want to see this gear on a Forsaken, though, okay? That's where it's really going to shine, I oh, think. Oh, that'd I think be it'll probably cool. look even better than the Forsaken Heritage. Although the, the crotch saddle on a rotting on Forsaken very special sets. To crotch? Start, we have a know. homage set to someone you probably weren't expecting, Malganus, or rather all Dreadlords. Yes, in patch 10.2, there's bullshit. going to be a Dreadlord outfit that you can get. Just check yes. this out. Giant demon horns. This, to me, hints at the next expansion in some way, shape, or form. There's going to be more Dreadlord involvement. I've talked about this before. Sire Denathrius leading the, the Legion now. I, Spiky armor, fell crystals. I'm I don't just know saying. what the heck is going on in the Emerald Dream to warrant a Dreadlord set. But it's yeah, we're going to find cool. out. Lastly, though, our second strange... The Dreadlords are everywhere, set. man. It's, it's called the Tenaris Wasteland set. Now, we don't know what is the story <laughs> yeah. with this, this, this is yet, cool. It looks like something a goblin this is really or a cool. gnome might wear, or maybe someone that just really loves engineering. This is like some kind of a whole cool, like hunter. You know, like you're this crazy. Uh, uh, you use a shotgun and you blast shit. I don't know. Uh, Mad Max, exactly. It's 100% Mad Max I vibes. Don't know. City guard gear. I don't know if anybody here plays a night elf or a blood elf, but clearly there must be a lot of you guys. And many of you there are a lot. I really think want to look like a dark blood elf. I think the second most played race guard. in the game. Because in the next After patch, human. Blizzard is making it so that you can have your very own Darnassus or Silver Moon guard gear. Now, it's only shoulder pads, cloak, and tabard so far. But just look at these things. Yeah, Let's start cool. with the Night Elves. First of all, you got this Night Elf set sporting that typical purple and silver color scheme. A little bit of gold accent thrown in. 
The cloak especially nice. looks Cloak's great. Good, yeah. Moon and the tree. Then always and use another death knife. Okay. It's just blood. Quinn. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Two months, death knight of our scourge. Elf player, you get ready. There's a lot of people out there who are going to use this set on their blood elf mage yeah, to look is... more like Kelthus Sun yeah. Strider. This yeah. set looks awesome, Definitely. dude. Shame there's no pants, at least not yet. But what we have so far, it tickles my inner role player, dude. I even like the helmet. That little gold. Oh damn, I didn't notice the helmet. That's actually Blizzard cool. Blizzard is going all out with this patch in terms of gear. And that's it so far. Yeah. That's our pre It's a transmog orgasmic experience. Got to give a quick plug, man. Speaking of gear, dude, the freaking the blood, oh, wow, the blood DK shirt, shirt yeah, that's, over on that's the pretty store. Cool. Guys, check it out. Link down below in the description, or I'll put a little like thing up here so you can check it out if you want. Let's move on to what's next. New mounts and pets. If you're yeah, a collector, yeah, guys, yeah, this yeah. is going to Let's be get your it. favorite section get some of the mounts. video. Mounts and pets, everybody. In this section, we're going to go over everything from updated models that have that old school Warcraft vibe to PvP mount rewards to some of the best <sighs> oh, looking pets in the game. Oh, God. Let's Tidemo. get started with new mounts. So this patch is bringing with it some very badass and some very odd looking mounts. You'll see what I mean. Let's start with the badass ones and then we'll work our way Do it. to the oddities. Okay. First of all, we have the Verdant yeah, this is, or this is the Mythic or Plus, probably. Which is a Keystone reward. Yeah, the, the next Keystone patch. reward. It kind of looks like a giant Ankylosaurus. I like the Pinecone tail. That looks not like too a bad. Komodo dragon. I'll be honest, of, of like all the Mythic Plus uh, Keystone Master mounts, I feel like Dragonflight, like they missed on it. It should have been a skin. It should have been a dragon riding skin. I don't know why they made a ground mount for the dragon expansion as the Keystone Master mount, but it's been I haven't cared to go for it the entire season. Shadowlands, as shitty as it was, had a very cool Keystone Master mount. The Tornado Boy, that was awesome. Uh, I don't know why they went with a with a ground ridden mount, like a mount that can't even fly at all. <laughs> it's it is what it is. Or something. Either it's way, a recolor. Really yeah, cool. that's I that's what they've been doing every expansion now. They just recolor them out every season, but um I just I'll never understand why they didn't go with a skin for the for our dragons. For the saddle, since it has this little moon crystal at the top, really gives off that, you know, this is a creature from the Emerald Dream kind of vibe. The next is a new druid form, the owl form that we covered earlier in the video, but this time it's a fire version Jesus of the Christ. owl form. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Burning Vikings here. Ugh. Fucking knock came out of nowhere. And just look at this guy. He Damn is a it. reward for mythic rating. Yeah, this is the mythic right rating mount. Up, the flaming crest, the burning wings. <laughs> if you're Good a dream morning. player watching this, you gotta try to get this thing. Third on this list, we have two variations of the Farak as a dragon mount. The first is a more shadow flame looking version yeah, this of the is villain so looking nice. a warped Purple this is the AOTC one, and it looks so damn good. I cannot wait to get it. This is the best AOTC mount they've given us so far, and in, in in Dragonflight, this is the best one. Actually, in Shadow Shadowlands too, we got the fucking Crab Boy. It was so dumb. It was such a shitty fucking mount. This one, unbelievable. Nightmarish. Whereas the first version, which you can see here, he's more of a normal-looking fire dragon guy. Pause Regardless, these. these will immediately become two of the coolest-looking dragon mounts in the game, guaranteed once 10.2 drops. We also have this fairy Good, man. dragon How you been, Bernie? It's a fairy dragon. It's just a lot bigger, fully grown, and it's perfect if you've been a fan of these guys yeah. since the early days. Of By the way, everybody's gonna get these. You get it for, like, the initial opening quest line. Warcraft, I can already not with the armor, but you're gonna get the uh, players just drooling at the, the magic mount boy. at the side of this thing. Up next, we have the saber tooth raptor mount. It's the saber tooth raptor cool. cat monster we covered earlier in the video, but cool. this is the mount version. It is a large, leafy beast ride your druid with a friend saddle that adorns That's what it its back. Looks like. This thing is definitely gonna turn heads. If you think this is cool, though, wait till you see what's at the end of this section. The saber model two that we covered earlier is also getting a mount version good old of itself. Saber tooth. Unlike the druid form yeah. mentioned mount, earlier, those are always though, good. This one has a head oh damn, covering. I kind of like this green and red one. Oh shit, this one actually, I wasn't that into it, but this one looks cool. And the bark that adorned it like armor has become a saddle. And that's really neat. The stag form too is also yeah. going to become a mount. Yeah, it also get gets your stags. Yeah, I've and never like been a stag uh, saddle and the matching fan. ankle guards. I think they're a great touch. I also like the different colorations too. Now this bad boy is the vicious moon yeah. beast. This is the alliance version of the PVP. The coolest thing about it is the saddle, but I really don't like the owlbear. I don't. Mount 
coming with this new patch. No, they it's don't fly. It's an owl bear, complete with a torch on its back to the guide the saddle's to great. victory. And don't on worry, Horde, you great. guys get your own version of this owl bear mount, which you can see yeah, right now Yeah, same with the Horde one, but I just We're don't care about it. We're also getting some that. scarab mounts oh. added in 10.2. They're like these giant beetles that look very regal with their these saddles cool. and armor. It all looks really fancy. You could imagine, like, some sort of Egyptian pharaoh or like Egyptian. The AOTC stag was things. cool because like, they had bigger horns. That I get. We also have this beautiful this. green dragon coming as a reward for gladiators yeah. in the new season. This of is great. This is a great looking gladiator set. The gladiator sets have been very good this expansion. Point two PVP kind of reminds me of Mists of Pandaria, and that is not a bad thing. I'm not complaining. I like how unique this dragon looks compared to the other dragons of the game. I really can't wait to see the animations on this thing, though. But now let's talk about what I consider saving the best for life. How hard does it get to get that? Okay. The gladiator well, one's pretty motors. hard. I mean, it's an arena thing, so you got to do arena. You got to get a certain rating i forgot i don't know if it's 2000 or what uh but it's it's kind of hard it is kind of hard i've never done it and i uh, probably will never do it uh, but uh, if you're good at pvp maybe it's not that cycles hard. right motorcycles oh now, what shit. the heck do motorcycles have to do with the emerald dream i ain't got a clue but we're getting more motorcycles added to the game these bikes you know though, what they have to do with the emerald dream the same thing that the uh that the Dreadlord armor had to do with the Emerald Dream. There's some kind of weird Dreadlordy shit going on here that we're going to find out that's going to lead us into the next expansion. And I think these fell motorcycles are part of that. And they're, they're on fire. Like, literally. Yeah. One's even covered in fell fire, which looks yeah. amazing. You guys know Chris Metzen came back to Blizzard recently, right? Okay. I guarantee he had a hand in this. Just like how he oversaw Azeroth choppers back in the day, if you guys remember yeah, that remember series. That. Chris Metzen had a hand in the creation of these motorcycles. Gonna look sick on if your lock. Yeah, I'm look at that purple one. Now let's talk about pets. We have quite yeah. a few pets to show off. It's my now, least, so my least thing I care about, probably. Them. Note that not every critter you're about to see, well, we don't know if they're all going to be collectible. Some might just be like little outdoor animals that we'll see in the open world. I guess we're going to have to find out once we get into the Emerald Dream, but let's check out these little guys. And of course, I've an seen ice the best fire motorcycle would be cool First for First of all, a, we a have a magic night. duckling and it has a flower on its head or something. This little <laughs> guy even has for himself a small wizard staff with a blue what? crystal at the top. It's like a little duck Gandalf. What? The Emerald He's Dream. holding Save a staff. the best one for last. First of all, we have a <laughs> I didn't even magic know. duckling. I didn't notice it at first. And it has a flower on its head or something. This little guy. Look even... at that. Look at that. He's holding a little staff. He has for himself a small wizard the staff hell? with a blue crystal at the top. It's like a little duck Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Like, looks great. We also yeah. have a few different variations of a small deer okay, with a little Bambi in its fur coming in patch 10.2. That's great. Get okay, a little Bambi. Like Bambi. He's even got that, like, traumatized look in his eyes. Yeah. Like, he just saw his mother getting killed by the hunter. If you haven't seen the movie, go watch it if you don't know what I'm talking about. How about this pine cone rat or okay. mouse? I don't know. Either way, this little guy's adorable. I can already see a night elf druid running around with one of these little guys. Again, pause the video if I'm ever going through this kind of quick. That way you can check. Oh, it's got a little bit of moss day. growing out. That's Next, cute. we have the return oh. yet again of that raptor cat that keeps popping the up raptor in this video. Baby only cat. this time in mini form. If you thought the big version was adorable, just look at this one. It's got a very one. stubby My tail. My only complaint is, dude, this guy's got those traumatized eyes as well, like Bambi. What's up with these pets? <laughs> like, what are they seeing that's scaring them so much? Now, this one's going to be really cool for all you old school Warcraft fans out there. So you got to watch We've the original Bambi to get that. updated HD fairy dragon oh. coming in this patch. Now, I don't know if these things are going to be collectible, but good. I sure hope they are. Being a night yeah, elf they, with one of these things flying around would fit everywhere in the so dream for sure. well, especially if you have that big mount for yeah, it too. Yeah, matches the mount. Next up, we've got a skunk. It's it's but it's an HD skunk. Okay, there's already an emerald dream in the game, skunk. but now we're getting these HD versions of the damn thing. Oh, look at that if taint. Your gaming chair, the taint. your gaming room smells like absolute HD galactic taint. ass. This is the pet for you. But maybe you want something a little less smelly. I understand. And that's where this thing comes in. It's a raccoon, I, I, I think. Oh, with antlers, with antlers or yeah. And that makes it look even better. It Very even has druidy. these little wooden shoulder guards or something. It's kind of cool. these intelligent critters like wearing clothes in the Emerald Dream. Like, I, I love it. But last but not least, you remember that owl bear mount from earlier? Well, yeah. it's the owl Baby. bear. But in mini form. Yeah, it's I figured. tiny. A baby owl bear. I saw ferocious. that coming a mile Just away. Look at those big old eyes, dude. Nobody is going to want to kill you in PvP with this thing at your side since they're not going to want to be making your pet all sad and stuff. I love this pet. Can't wait to get it. 
Again, I said it at the beginning of this section, if you're yeah. a collector, new mounts, Very new pets coming to the game. There's a lot to look forward to. I'm excited. You're excited. You know, guys, I'm going to be honest. We could actually keep going. We have not even talked about the raid yet, the dream portals. More and more gear has been data mined as we were editing this video. The 10.2, the aesthetic more, looks leave good. A comment down below. And if you think that you really know World of Warcraft and you want to test your knowledge, then you need to watch 100 things you didn't know about World of Warcraft on your screen right now. I will see you guys with the next video or in patch 10.2. Stay cool, everybody, and do not fall into the Emerald Nightmare. Yeah, it looks great. I'm going to link this. I'll link this in uh, this video in chat. It's got all all the everything. So if you want to look at any of this stuff, you can look at it. Uh, look, I mean, I thought I wouldn't like the aesthetic for Death Knight, but I feel like, especially with the tier sets, they really went hardcore on giving that vibe of, of this is your class and that will not waver no matter where you are. You're in the Emerald Dream and you want to be a Death Knight? Guess what? We're going to create a Death Dream style set, which was a badass on their part. Um, uh, the art team's doing great. The outdoor sets, awesome. Weapons, cool. I'm excited. Druid forms, S tier. S tier.